Dry heat cooking methods. Roasting and baking. I went to ask Mrs. Tanga if it is all right to take a walk. And she agreed? Definitely. Mm. Let's go. I need the fresh Kisumu air. All right. Uh, these days, there are more cars than humans on traffic in Kisumu. You should visit Nairobi City. Things are worse there in terms of traffic. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's a discussion for another day. Would you like some Mahindi Choma? Of course. If you're buying. Let's cross the street then. My friend sells them over there. And uh, you can discuss roasting as you buy it on the maize cobs, right? No worries. So, what is roasting? It is a way of cooking food directly over fire or flame. For example, on a glowing charcoal or firewood. It is good for cooking meat, maize, sweet potatoes, yams, fish, and so on. Oh. Whenever I pass by some sport club, there's always meat rotating. Our charcoal stores at the entrance. Is that a modern way of roasting? You could say so. All in all, there are general rules regarding roasting of foods that I want to briefly discuss. I am all ears. First of all, the food to be roasted should be of good quality. The joints should be prepared correctly and seasoned before putting them in the roasting pan. The oven should be preheated to the right temperature before putting the food. What if you are using the charcoal stove? What would be the correct temperature? Good question. The charcoal should be red hot or glowing. It helps to brown the top and seal the juices as well as ensuring the food is free from smoke. Hmm. Remember, we are roasting, not smoking the food. I get it. So, now that you have the stove ready, Mm -hmm. What is next? Roasting begins. The joints must be raised from the bottom of the pan to avoid frying or burning them. A wire mesh is always used here. While the food is roasting, keep turning it to ensure it cooks evenly. And do not prick the surface of the meat as this will rid the juices and make the meat dry. Excellent. Quite some information. I must admit, roasted meat tastes more delicious than boiled meat. <laughs> I can't agree more. No wonder many people like nyamachoma. Roasted food is also appetizing and easy to digest. Mm. It's also a quick method of cooking. But requires more attention since the food being roasted must be turned constantly to ensure it is evenly cooked. Plus... It is expensive in the long run, since the food to be roasted must be of high quality, which I guess is costly. Want some cake? Hell no! Cakes are for small children or birthday parties. Besides, I've had more than enough. Easy! Easy! It is not like I was forcing you at gunpoint. I thought by mentioning cakes, it would ring a bell. I was wrong after all. Oh no! Baking! How damn am I? More than you can imagine. Anyway, in baking, we use hot, dry air to cook. Mostly, we do it in an oven. Baked foods include cakes, scones, and bread. I eat bread for breakfast, but I've never understood how they are cooked. Before you start baking, preheat the oven to the correct temperature. Food to be baked is placed in the right shelf. What I mean to say is that the top shelf is the hottest, followed by the middle and the lower ones in that order. Feel me? You must observe the baking time for the type of food being baked, since different foods take different time periods to bake. Mm. Do you bake foods back in a restaurant, Elizabeth? Of course! Ours is a one-stop restaurant. We have all it takes to prepare any delicacies for our esteemed customers. Mm, you speak highly of your hotel, mm -hmm. which is nice. Anyway, you won't mind showing me the process practically, right? Mm, but first, you need the theory. 
Another rule for baking is, do not open the oven door during the baking process until you are sure the food is fully baked. You can test the baked food before removing them from the oven as a way of making sure that they are ready. And lastly, turn the baked food on a cooling tray. Oh, let's get back to the hotel. That is just as good, since I wanted to buy some of your bread for my mother. She will love them, I promise. Mm. Besides, baked foods are light and easy to digest. And uh, any other reason I should ask my mother to bake at home? I thought you'd do it yourself. I just showed you how. Anyway, baking does not require a lot of attention as long as the temperature of the oven is correctly set. Mm -hmm. It serves on fuel because several dishes can be cooked at the same time in various shelves in the oven. Any reason I should never let mom bake at home? Just one. It is only suitable for certain dishes, which exclude your favorite ugali and fish. <laughs> I think I will be getting back to work soon. And I guess that is goodbye from you. Thank you for your time. I will be heading back home. Tell Mrs. Tanga I will come visit soon. Bye, Jim. Bye, Liz. See ya.